welcome. Uh, this is the first episode of probably many about Brian's um, Porsche that he is rebuilding currently in his garage. It is a 1976 Porsche 911. It used to be a former Group 5 rally car and competed in events in the Midwest United States. Um, it had sat for about 10 years before it came to his ownership, and so it needed a considerable amount of love ranging from gasket replacements to axle rebuilds and all of the above. And uh, the video you saw at the beginning was a time trial event that Brian took the car to in 2017, where it started to produce a good amount of black smoke on deceleration. So much that Matt Farah actually commented how much he loved the car, but he also was commenting about how much it smoked on deceleration, causing Brian to get black flagged and be forced to pit, where he tore into the car in the pits, covering himself with oil. And um, then after that, set for a year or two and now we're back at working on it i am his loyal slave and minion um a six foot three village idiot that can lift things up and put them down pretty well and in this first episode we are going to be pulling the engine for an inspection and a rebuild actually you start with jacking the car up getting into an elevated position so you can get under and you can get at the engine and transmission combo to separate them before you do that obviously you have to take off the oil lines take out the ignition take out all the little ancillary things as well and the lower rod that you see is actually um, part of the clutch system and you have to remove that or it gets snagged on it when you're trying to remove it and then the clutch line drags and you end up breaking things and get angry and then threaten to burn your car at least that's what i do um so you start with taking all the ancillary stuff apart and then you slowly start lowering the entire engine assembly attached to the transmission until you get to a point where you have to start separating the engine from the gearbox. And that's basically where we were at here. Now once you get to this position, this is where the fun begins. Then it starts to literally behave like separating uh, any other engine from a gearbox, or very similar to a Subaru engine and a Subaru gearbox. You just have to wiggle it away and slowly slide it back at the correct angle or it's not going to move at all. And so it took a little while for us to do that, and it took some time. That was it. That was the finesse we needed. A few moments later. 